Hey guys, we are going into Holy Beast of Yevon Reborn, level 4, for an all mission clear. And so, I've used uh, the crowns I've gotten so far on Titus's shift form, but missions are no continues, clear within 5 turns, uh, water category units only. So, unfortunately, this does require 2 premiums. Uh, offhand, I can't think of any other strong... Uh, water-based bursters. Um, if you have Tifa, she should do like the majority of the damage. Since her LB is two hit, um, she can do like 20 billion damage on the burst turn. Um, pretty sure the boss has closer to like, you know, 20 or 30 billion or something like that. So we do need two hard hitters for the burst. But uh, here's our lineup. So, Cacteria is here for breaking, uh, Water and Peril, uh, really more than anything, her big 89% uh, defense spirit break, or attack and magic breaks really, um, are doing a lot for us here. The boss puts up Dot and uh, does some magic and physical attacks uh, every turn. I think it counters with magic attacks, but... Uh, she makes it a lot more bearable without a tank. There just aren't any good, you know. There's, yes, there is Jekt, but I didn't want to bring him. Uh, I figured three premiums would probably be too much. Although, who knows? I mean, maybe he, uh, maybe he does enough damage. I haven't actually used him. Um, but anyway, here's our Cacteria setup. She is full evasion, uh, status immune. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then she's going to be a chain bot on the kill turn. Make sure somebody has Obsidian Bracer because the box puts up a preemptive dot on you that if you don't have the, bo the boss preemptively broken, uh, it's going to kill you. It does like 35,000 damage or something like that. So... I'm guessing you don't want to, you know, gear for that much bulk. Uh, focus here for some mitigations, healing, uh, ailment. Well, yeah, not really ailment resistance, but more just uh, mitigations and some regen. But she's uh, full evasion as well. Some Esperfill. A little bit of Esperfill on Cacteria too. Nicole, uh, crown here for the Imperial Field, full evasion, status immune in both forms. Um, I gave everyone guts in their base form just in case, but some Esperfill. I guess I should make him immune in the shift form as well. Okay, there we go. Uh, Tifa, base form, passive provoke, Titus's garb, or not passive provoke, but just full evasion, Titus's garb, for and status immune. Uh, I'm actually just shifting her on turn one. I guess the boss counters attacks, and I want to apply all the uh, Cacteria's breaks on turn one, so I'm just going to stack Tifa's LB on turn one as well. So, uh, power to challenge fate if you have it for the Reaper Killer buff. Shift form, um, I tried to stay away from too high into gear, but she's kind of tough to gear for uh, Aquan Reaper. So she's at max Reaper, 275 Aquan, full LB, and getting full TDW on her is kind of a hassle. Um, so, yeah. There's the gear, some Reaper Killer from Tiger Fangs. Uh, Titus's garb, just because, you know, she had it equipped in the base form. I tried to keep the gearing a little cheaper than some of the other clears I've posted today. So, uh, do we have another? Actually, what is this giving me? Reaper and Insect. Do we have one that gives it's a Reaper Demon? I 
let's see. Now oh, Reaper Reader Sense at least has some percentage stats. Oh. So, there we go. I mean, still the same, I think. 275 and 300. But there she is. Then <clears throat> Titus, base form, full evasion, uh, zone STMR, guts, ailment, immunity, shift form, um, max damage against uh, Aquan and Reaper. Uh, 275 Reaper. Uh, he's hitting the cap anyway, so I'm not going to bother trying to squeak out another 25% on that one killer. But he does have a throwing weapon. And then the usual. Uh, actually, I feel like I'm missing some Final Fantasy X piece of gear for him, but it's fine. With his whopping 9500 attack. Yeesh. Then his own vision card. Who is the leader here? Does she have a leader skill? No. 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 No leader. Okay, it's fine. So we'll get into it. Okay, so Tifa can shift and do her LB. Titus, does he even have any meaningful skills in the base form? No, he's just gonna guard. Kicteria can, let's see, do attack and magic breaks and then defense breaks. Foka will put up general mitigation with her cooldown and put up some cerulean shell for some regen and nicole can put up protect gush shell gush, and just whatever else uh chew water infusion So not too bad. Now if it wasn't for the dispel at the end of this turn, we could just do a turn three burst, but we're gonna lose all our buffs. So Tifa can just guard. Titus can guard. Cacteria will do Cactus Break. Uh, Sacred Oasis. And what else? Barb boost, I guess, to somebody. Boca can. It would be nice if she had more than just a, you know, double cast here, since we got broken. Um, let's see. We can do ailment resistance. And what else are we doing with her? Do we really need healing? Not so much. Um, this will do the ailment resistance and Dishelna. Dishel Naga. Get rid of that spirit break. That did get rid of the spirit break, right? Yeah. Then Nicole can summon Leviathan. So there's the dispel. So Cacteria this turn can guard. Tifa can do all her amps. Uh, we'll just fill LB, which one's her 150 amp, uh, elemental burst water, and then just heal herself. Titus can shift, and he can do Blitzmania, 
burst water and I guess you're going down. Go to RB mod. Foca can give us some healing. With Cerulean Shell. And is there general mid up yet? No. And I guess just uh, ailment resistance again. And Nicole can shift and do a shifted LB. Alright. So now we're going to burst. So we will LB Tifa and Tit Titus. Uh, Nicole is going to give us Aquan Killer. If you don't have an EX3, you can always just do this Aquan Killer. And then just whatever else. Two water infusion, I guess. Cafeteria can shift. She can just chain Bolting Strike. And Foca can shift and chain Bolting Strike. I didn't bother gearing focus shift form. All the damage is coming from Tifa and Titus. So we're just going to send Titus and Titus and then start the chainers a second later. Not 100% sure on the timing. I think it'll all hit in the chain. So there we go. I guess somebody did hit under the cap there somewhere. Let's see who that was. Tifa, I guess one of her hits was in that cap. So, but it's fine. It worked. So, kind of expensive, but if you can find a friend Titus or, I mean, I think finding a friend Titus that's geared for the killers versus a friend Tifa that's geared right would be easier. So, maybe go that route. But anyway, there it is. Hope it helped. Thanks for watching.